What's going on guys, Leo here from The Awesome Nerd Show, bringing you more Marvel Legends, kicking off our new year with some new Marvel Legends. We have the Spider-Man Wave 11 with the build figure of Demogoblin, which looks pretty cool. And starting off here, we have some Spider-Man outfits from the Spider-Man PS4 game, and we've got the Velocity Suit Spider-Man, and then the Spider Armor Mark III Spider-Man, and both look really cool. Of course, the Mark III armor has been in comics and everything, but it looks pretty cool though. I really like the look of the outfit. Of course, we'll take them out and look at them. Got the Demogoblin build figure piece there. You can see like a picture of it there on the side looks pretty cool pictures there on the back there's the demogoblin that we'll be building at the very end it looks really cool i really like the look of this outfit and everything all looks very much like an iron man style suit and everything and of course the mark three looks awesome as well and then we've got the superior octopus with doc ock as a spider-man version and then we get vulture and like his classic comic look ending off with white rabbit which of course i've never seen this character before but it looks pretty cool it looks you know very rabbitish and stuff and then we got shang chi which is pretty cool it's going to be having a movie come out i think about next year or something pretty cool master of kung fu so that's pretty cool we got a real figure of him and he comes with all sorts of hands as you can see there it looks awesome so those are all the figures of this set of course again you can see all the demogoblin pieces of course this cool glider back there it's all on flames and stuff so very cool looking set here i'm excited to get into it and check them out along with you i hope you are as well let me know with a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see all the marvel legends as they come out but let's go ahead and get into this and build that demogoblin so our first one up here is the velocity suit spider-man and this thing looks pretty cool again it's from the spider-man ps4 game and while looking this up I did see that you got this suit in the game from the Spidey suit pack which was a pre-order bonus and you would get this suit or you could just find it and buy it in the game after you did so much research and everything but the suit is designated by its silver visor so it has like its little eye coverings there are considered a visor it's supposed to be silver they just look black on here but at least you know this is just the description from in the game and then it has the glowing blue spider symbol on its chest so again very much like Iron Man with the glowing symbol on his chest he's got the spider man which looks pretty cool but you can tell it's got the basic spider Spider-Man colors though so the red and the blue and so has the red top up here you know with the mask covering its face all the way going down through its chest has a shoulder armor and then it has the red detailing through it so you can see the mark down its arm there around its wrist and then the red lines running down the body of some of the extra details there on the thighs and down on the calf and on the top of the foot there and then it has the rest of the blue it's like a weird like a uh, dark blue or like a navy blue maybe it's a different color of blue and then the light blue from the light there is pretty cool so the chest center there with the spider legs all come down and the legs run down his legs and then over to his arms and stuff as well the blue color it looks very cool there's a look at the back of it looks pretty cool there I really like the look and design of this figure overall but it said for his powers it has the blitz power which is a feature that boosts his speed allowing him to plow through enemies so he can just you know charge right through him so he's kind of like rhino and stuff but for moments for this figure though so the head can twist around and has some nodding the shoulders do come up about 90 degrees rotate all the way around we have the bicep twist and a double elbow joint and then the wrist can twist twist around and flex and then we go to an ab crunch so he's got the crunch there as you can see you twist at the waist legs come up about 90 degrees and then off to the side a good amount we have the thigh twist and the double knee joint and then the foot flexes and twists side to side so again very cool looking figure overall i really like the look and design of this again i think this should be considered like an iron man armor but it's whatever and he doesn't really come much for accessories like he has the spider webbing that you can take you know wrap around an enemy so we can just take it and wrap around him so there it's like so he's all trapped up now so he does come with that and then he also comes with a leg for the demogoblin which we of course will build a figure of that but that's really all there is for the velocity suit spider-man and that brings us to the spider-man armor mark 3 spider-man and this is another outfit from the video game but this is also exist in the comics so the comic version is kind of the one i looked up but with this one it's also called the anti-sinister six armor so the armor has a lot of stuff built into it to kind of like take down and defeat different members of the sinister six so it looks pretty cool i think in general and then the fact that it has different little things going on which we'll go through but this suit was obviously created by peter parker himself and it has a bunch of weapons and gadgets like i said to take on the sinister six but it looks pretty cool i really like the look and design of this so i like again you know it's just not a take on spider-man so we have the spider-man face up here although it looks to me more like red hood like i think this could be a cool like red hood mask and stuff but because you know it doesn't have all the webbing design all over it but it looks pretty cool the nice big eyes there it kind of almost has like a bird nose to it or something but it looks pretty cool i like the whole robotic stuff there on the sides we have a center outfit so we have the red and black design on it so i like the red here that has all the like little details you can kind of see in there the black spider on top of the black side he comes out as like a little like crotch pad thing so it has a belt on here with some like utility stuff on it but like a crotch covering and that black and red continues down his legs so you can see the all black insides probably like black leather and then the red details there on the sides of his leg those designs sticking out there look kind of cool together down to the boots that are all red with some black details on them as well but up on the shoulders we get some of the blue in for spider-man so we have like the big shoulder pads there 
on his arms and some additional blue there on like his leather outfit and he's got like some gauntlets on looks like has some shooters of some sort so can shoot some out but they're all red with black gloves with the red knuckles on him there as well so very different looking version of spider-man here especially with you know the different changes oh and there's a look at his back so it's like a backpack on you know, has the legs coming out of it like a spider and everything too looks pretty cool for that but yeah different take you know we don't have very much blue on it's much more black and red but it looks cool overall it looks like he's a motorcycle or so we just need to get a little like spidey bike to put him with for his movement so it's going to be about the same again we're not going to go through the same thing on every single figure so it's about the same but i don't really see anything that's different just trying to go through he doesn't have the butterfly joints on this one which is you know different for spider-man mostly they all have them um the only thing that's real different is down here at the feet which i don't know how well you can see it. i can't really get a view in there but they're on a ball joint which is kind of weird and of course it doesn't allow for as much movement especially with the armor so his feet are hard to get him to stand up and he looks a little bit crooked and stuff and trying to get his legs to adjust and everything is kind of weird so that's why like on the table here he's kind of like leaning over to one side which is really annoying and so for his armor the different stuff that comes with it he has a com link web shooters of course for spider-man jet boots for flying which i don't really they don't really look much like jet boots i mean there is some stuff there on the back of them and of course nothing on the bottom and his utility belt of course that we saw there around his waist and now for the sinister six stuff though he has an echo locator which allows him to hear chameleon's heartbeat so his specific heartbeat so he can track him down the helmet is an octo helmet which i think was a part of stuff used by dr octopus and stuff and spider-man took it and has reused it so he can use that to help fight dr octopus it has a holographic visor so he can see through mysterious illusions he has a phone which of course they don't have a phone with this but it has the pink hippo app on it which is the thing that's kind of attached to sandwind's like controlling like thing for his body so it's like his one piece of sand that can has like his mind and everything controlled into it that controls the rest of his body to change all the forms of sandman so spider-man did the thing where this app is attached to that in a fight you know past fight and stuff he had got it attached onto it he can control sandman's form so if you know Sandman gets real big Spider-Man just gets on his phone pushes a button and Sandman will shrink back down. The outfit's electro proof so electro can't affect him and with it he can also when he touches him can change electro back to his human form and it has the durability to withstand Rhino so he can take on Rhino one on one. So that is all pretty cool that all that is contained into the suit. Of course we don't get all the different features though of that which is kind of you know stuff that it can do but we don't see it. But for his accessories again the only thing he really comes with is another spider webbing but this one goes on the face so you can just take it. Of course maybe on a human it'd look a little bit better but you can just take it and yeah stick it on his face so we can take that and then like the shoulder part of course we're gonna, I'm gonna stick it together so we can really be like spider-man's really you know trapped and tied up somebody so that's pretty cool and then he comes with the other leg for demogoblin and that's really all he comes with but it looks pretty cool here there and everything for the spider-man armor mark 3 and now this figure is probably one of my favorites out of the set because i just love the look and color of it but we have superior octopus which of course is Otto octavius in a spider superior spider-man inspired suit and of course there's a whole story line with Dr. Octopus and Peter Parker and Superior Spider-Man and everything where Doc Ock you know transfers his mind into Peter Parker and there's cloning and all sorts of different stuff of course I don't know everything that's going on with it it was such a long storyline thing that got me all confused and everything but this is back to Otto Octavius and this suit just looks super cool I love the colors of the black and the gray with the neon green mixed into it then of course he has the tentacles and everything which Superior Spider-Man you know has the four extra arms coming off of it but this time we have the tentacles of Dr. Octopus so that looks really cool mixed in with it and it just is such a cool looking figure so Otto got this outfit with a combination of Hydra. He found like a whole Hydra thing and so with Hydra's resources he was able to create this suit and so that's why it looks so cool I think and kind of you can kind of well obviously it's Dr. Octopus but it kind of has you know like the Hydra inspire like look on it with the head with all the tentacles coming out and you know Octopus as well so they kind of fit really well together but looking up at the top here so again we have the light gray portion here from his chest up and we also have his face and everything so he has the neon green glasses with the black lines going around through it down his back and again like I said the Octopus inspire design on here or Hydra could be even if the neon green so we have the head of course the two eyes and then the eight legs coming off of it. it looks very cool I don't know what the little dots are down there though it looks kind of weird but I love that neon green color mixed in with this it just looks so cool on the black with the light gray as well it looks very cool and then the rest of the outfits pretty much just black all the way down as you can see so it just has the light gray up the top he does have some fist things on with some gauntlets and stuff there on his hands probably you know some more technology inspired things and then just down his legs and then you get some light gray stripe there down on his feet and then of course he has his cybernetic tentacles coming off of his back so it's a little backpack on that you can take off so that's pretty much like his accessory but we already have it on there for him and you can take the tentacles switch them off range but i don't even know if those are in the right arrangement but that's just the way the backpack lines up that's where they feel that they work the best at and everything and it doesn't look too bad but i just love the look of this though but for movements and joints so everything's pretty much gonna be the same again this one does have the butterfly joint on i can't really there that would you can really see the butterfly joint there but everything else looks exactly the same so of course have the same shoulder
shoulders, double elbow, wrist, ab crunch, waist twist, thighs, knees. Oh, this one does also have the shin twist right at the top of like his boots and then the normal feet. So again, looks very cool. And another thing feature that he has is he has ink shooters instead of web shooters. So that's pretty cool. So it fits in, you know, with an octopus and everything. So very cool that it comes with that as well. But other than that, he doesn't really have much with it. We'll take a you know, closer look there at the back and everything. Looks very cool. But like I said, the, probably the black, light gray, and neon green just make this my favorite looking figure. So that's just super cool. And I love the tentacle arms and stuff. And then the other thing comes with is the hands for Demogod. But that's it besides the cybernetic arms, no other accessories or anything, but that's pretty cool there for a superior octopus. Then we have another cool looking villain here, Vulture, which I think looks, looks pretty cool. I think consider it like the classic look of Vulture and I really like this figure a lot. So Adrian Toomes as Vulture. Of course, if you've seen Spider-Man Homecoming, you've seen Adrian Toomes as Michael Keaton and stuff. Pretty similar and stuff overall, not too much different. He's an electrical engineer that developed this electromagnetic harness that allows him to have wings for flight. And so also with that, he is considered a super genius. Adrian Toomes here developed again this wingsuit and of course he was working on it with a guy and then the guy you know left a partnership so he turned it into a villain and stuff to do crime and everything and so he used that wingsuit to be able to fly around and stuff and so I'm surprised this thing stands of course it's just wings attached onto his arm but I'm surprised it stands as well as it does of course if you get some movements around stuff it may not stand as well but there's a look at Adrian Toomes face of course the comic style version with the old man so he looks a lot older and stuff he's now some splotches there on his bald head so he has like an egg head almost and stuff but I like the Look, he's got some pink detailing around his eyes. Of course, the creepy smile with the big pointy nose looks very much like a bird. Big pointy gray eyebrows. So it looks very cool though with the just like old man looking face with the bald head stuff. Then we've got his vulture outfit. So again, it's all green. And I like the details they added into the body. Of course, he has like the feathers or fur there around his neck. But then he's got the green outfit. So it's like a dark green color, but it's light green paint over the top of it. Like especially in the center there on his chest and down his arms. And then it has the stripes on it as well with the darker green color. So again, I really like that look and design a lot. But once you get from his waist down it's just all this solid darker green color so it's kind of boring from there down but then he's got his big wings on again these are just popped into his arms so they're just little sections so there's like the back one there for his bicep and then for his forearm it's a the bigger section there so it looks pretty cool and of course you can like you know still because they're separated get some moves of course if they contact they'll fall out so there's like a look of the wing straight on and then you can kind of bend it out and around some and of course you can get his arms to move up in all sorts of directions there so he can you know be like more like a flying or something and have his arms up. Don't like to cooperate too much, but there you can see his arms up and stuff. And they can fly around if he has his arms out. It's so like that. So there he can fly around and stuff. So you can swoop in and everything. So yeah, the only unfortunate thing though is if you do too many like movements around with the arms and stuff, these wing parts will fall out. So that's just the only really unfortunate thing about this. But it looks so cool. I just love the look in there. Even with his wings all the way out and everything, he still stands just fine. So that's pretty cool the way it's designed and stuff to be able to do all that. But of course, with his wings here and everything, it allows him to have flight so obviously he can fly and the wings also provide him with superhuman strength so he can pick up heavy objects and everything and throw them around and then his wings also can shoot off some of the feathers here and they shoot off as sharp projectiles and stuff so he can you know kind of you throw them like blades and stuff so that is really cool and for accessories he comes with an additional head here so we have like a more I would say like mast head or some same face and everything he just has this helmet on that kind of gives him some bird ears and some more of like the point that comes down to his nose and stuff just to make him look more bird like we can kind of like hold it up there I don't like that that version a lot though but um, I like the way it's designed just for with it on him I don't like that design at all and then he also comes with the head for a demo goblin which looks really creepy there and so that's it for vulture next up we have white rabbit now this is a character I've never seen before or heard of before but it looks pretty cool of course reminds me a lot of stuff like from the Batman's gallery with especially like Mad Hatter he has a lot of Alice in Wonderland inspired thing just like her but obviously from Marvel instead but her real name is Lorena Dodson and growing up as a child she was obsessed with the book of Alice in Wonderland kind of makes since. But as she grew older, she was married off to a rich old man when she was 25. And so she came up with a thing to kill him. She made it look like it was just an accident stuff or he died of old age. And so she got a bunch of money from that. And with that money, she invested into high tech gadgets that would allow her to start a criminal career as the White Rabbit. So that's what we see here. So there's a look at Lorena there. And so of course she has her face all painted white, has the little whiskers, the nose, her eyelashes all done and stuff too. They're trying to look like a rabbit. Of course has some rabbit ears up on her head there. And I like the hair again. I think Marvel Legends hair looks incredible. I like how it's like an orangish blonde color and again it's all flowing and stuff looks very cool. I like even the little pink bow tie on there. And her outfit's pretty much just what looks to be what I forget what they call them but the rabbits of like Playboy or something. So she has kind of like corset on with some sort of probably like bikini pants. I don't really know what kind of pants you'd call that but just maybe some sort of like spandex outfit or something on there. And you can even see she has a clock there kind of like the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. So the little clock on there. Then she has
has the blue overcoat on over the top of it again very much like the white rabbit has she has white gloves on and you can go down to her feet where she has white boots on that I think look really cool I really like these boots they're a little bit different style of boots from Marvel Legends but I really like them they're all furriness and everything for her movements it's going to be the same as usual she does have the of course the ab crunch and stuff right there at her chest but it doesn't really bend forward at all so it can twist side to side a little as you can see there but it does like crunch back a little so unfortunately we don't get a whole lot of movement going on in there but other than that it looks the same again she has the shin twist there at the top of the boots and then just have the normal foot movement in there and stuff so nothing too special or different of course it is a female so she has a lot of like skinnier joints and everything so has skinnier arms and legs but other than that it's you know pretty much just the same character i like the look and design overall it looks very much like the white rabbit based from alice in wonderland as a human could look so it's like a cool cosplay i'm surprised we don't see more people doing that but it still looks pretty cool but for her stuff she is a martial artist so that's about the only like skill she possesses but she has a lot of stuff in her armory she uses killer rabbits so she has some rabbits you know that come around with the killer we should be able to get a little rabbit buddy to go with this but she also comes with an umbrella which she does come with here so a nice pink umbrella here and it sh can shoot stuff off so it shoots off explosives so i assume that's probably what it's doing there but it can also shoot off razor sharp carrots so that's kind of fun and cool too i wish there was a carrot or something that come with it but she has the umbrella and then she a lot of times has um rocket boots but on this she just has fur so i assume there's no rockets going on in there or she'd catch her fur on fire and the only other thing she comes with though is the glider here for demogoblin which looks pretty cool nice and flames and stuff and it's on a little thing to make it float so that's pretty cool and that's it for the white rabbit and our last figure here is shang chi the master of kung fu so again we're going to be getting a shang chi movie i think it's next year in 2021 so we have that to look forward to so this is kind of an early preview for you of shang chi so shang chi's backstory is that he was raised to be an assassin by his crime lord father but while out training you know learning stuff through all sorts of different sorts of martial arts and everything he learned of that his father was a criminal and a crime lord and so he decided to turn against his father and started to attack different parts of his father's empire to kind of turn against him so as you could guess for shang chi here he is a master martial artist he's considered one of the best martial artists in the entire world and he has multiple different skills as like a gymnast he's a marksman with throwing objects like throwing stars he's weapon for efficiency so he can use all sorts of different weapons he's a philosopher and he has the ability to control his nervous system so he can kind of ignore pain and stuff while in a fight so that's all really cool that shang chi can do all of that stuff but for the actual look here looks very cool of course looks just like a classic like kung fu person it looks a lot you know reminds me a lot of like bruce lee or something especially like the upper body reminds me i think it's like Liu kang or whatever from mortal kombat is what it reminds me of so we got a look at his face there he's got the black hair a little bit longer and stuff you know kind of sweat back and stuff they have the little points into it then he has the headband on that's all red and so it's you know tight in the back and flowing down there in the back of course he has the upper body without any shirt on or anything there then he's got a sash there around his waist as a belt and some red pants on that have the yellow band at the bottom with all the orange little dots and stuff so it looks very cool i really like the outfit then of course he's barefoot and everything since he's a kung fu master so very cool looking overall and for his joints they're pretty much going to be the same he does have the butterfly joint in there so again you can get more range of movements i like his hands how he's got like the hands with the like gap in between so could be like some stances or have some weapons or something it looks like they'd be perfect for like some size or something to stick in his hand but he doesn't come with any unfortunately has the ab crunch and the feet the only difference is he's got the bare feet down at the bottom so he does have the twist right at the bottom of the pants there for the foot as well and then of course the normal feet joint for his bare feet and i think his feet look pretty normal they're still a little bit fat marvel legends doesn't know how to make good looking feet and his you know kind of fit along with that as well but they're not too bad they look like they fit pretty well but for his accessories he comes with quite a bit of different stuff he comes with some nunchucks here which i don't know if these are the exact nunchucks but i did see in the research that he does have a set of nunchucks that were designed by tony stark and they can emit and a repulsor blast when hitting somebody at a certain like power and stuff so you can obviously just take them and design them you know put them in his hands again out there it comes with some different hands we'll see in a second but you can do a classic and where he's got the nunchucks under his arm of course if he had a grip hand it'd probably hold it a lot better i would think you know just where it's held in his hand and under his arm and then this one i don't know what you do you could probably have you know two hands you just kind of hold it together somehow i don't really know exactly what you do with it again we need better hands on it but speaking of better hands he comes with a bunch of them so he has those two hands there he comes with some more like gripping or i'd say i don't know what you'd say like claw style hands so hands in a claw version he comes with two fists obviously for punching and everything he's got two flat hands so again some more posing and style of kung fu and then he has the grip hands there as well so again for that'd be better for holding the nunchucks and everything so very cool overall for shang chi i'm excited for the movie i want to see what they what the movie looks like for what i'm kind of excited to see a kung fu movie and then see how it would fit in overall with the marvel universe i think that'd be pretty cool so i'm excited for that and then of course we have the last the main body part here for demogoblin stuff so we can now get ready to build him and that's pretty 
cool there for Shang-Chi. So now we got all the parts here for Demogoblin, so let's go ahead and put them together. So there we go, we got Demogoblin all together, and so it looks very cool. Of course, I didn't think to even like look up stuff for him, unfortunately, so I can't really tell you much about him, but it looks pretty cool, so I assume it's a different version or form of Goblin, just as a Demogoblin. So of course, the build figure was kind of really hard to put together. The legs were almost impossible for us to get popped in. This arm isn't popped in, so it easily falls right out, so if like you lift it up, it just easily comes right out. It doesn't like lock in or anything, so not the best build a figure to like deal with and everything but I think it looks really cool though which of course is what we're looking for and stuff mostly from that but it looks pretty cool like I said it's pretty much like the classic like goblin outfit just obviously in a different form so we have the hood up on his head that comes out to the point of course it's like a dark blue color it's a creepy demon looking face there has the tongue coming out with the red eyes the giant teeth and everything just looks very creepy has the cape on there again just like goblin usually does but of course it's a blue with red underneath and all torn and tattered at the bottom a solid outfit again very similar just obviously in the dark blue color gloves on with the fingers protruding out with the claws on it some like chain bands around his arm of course his arms itself look very like reptilish and stuff has a bunch of scales and everything has the sash there around his chest and onto a belt where he's i assume instead of like the little pumpkin bombs and stuff he has this demon looking head that he can throw off and of course it looks all torn and everything down to the legs of course the blue continues on to you got the red at the top the big like red flaps of the boots there whatever that are all red and then the dark blue as well with the points of the feet there which look pretty cool and then of course you can take him and stick him onto the glider so it may be a little bit difficult of course he has the points on his feet and everything and obviously you can't see it too well but he does stand up so his feet fit perfectly into the glider which is really cool they have the way they designed it there and on the sand so there he's perfectly just standing up on it obviously you can usually he'll be like bent down and stuff which that'll be something you'll have to, we'll have to adjust ourselves and get him to bend down and everything to fit on there so unfortunately i can't you know show the whole thing but there's a look of him like standing on the glider course i can't get it to fit in there for you but it looks very cool and I'm, it's awesome that it comes with a stand that can actually float and everything but the guy here looks really cool so again it has a demon style face with more like a beak nose and stuff and kind of a weird mouth but then it's all flames and stuff so it looks pretty cool into the red the yellow and then orange at the back looks very cool as of course the two little things there to hold his feet on and then on this clear glider which has bros used in the past and stuff so very cool that it comes with all that and very cool for this figure overall so that's gonna be it for this marvel legend spider-man wave 11 with the build a figure demogoblin here which looks really cool so i hope you enjoyed this wave with all the different spider-man and villains that we got with it very cool set overall i think so i hope you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments who was your favorite character out of this set leave a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe to our channel thank you all for being awesome and i'll see you next time